What's going on, Gemini? Gang, gang, fellow Geminis. Welcome to Told as Love Tarot with Megan, the Gemini Meg. This Gemini reading is not only for Gemini sun placements, but also moon rising Venus, or if you have heavy Gemini placements in your chart, or if you just stumbled upon this and you're like, that message sounds like it was meant for me, then it was meant for you. Um, Gemini, interestingly enough, I'm actually relating this to Mercury retrograde, which I did a minutes with Meg on this morning. Your ruling planet, the planet of communication, Mercury, goes into retrograde this Friday. And it's interesting that it affects communication. You could, um, communication in that you may hear from someone, not hear from someone, get into an argument, have a snafu misunderstanding over something that someone said and they didn't even mean it the way that you took it. Anything that has to do with communication. And I was just about to say, Gemini, I've had so much to say about the other signs, but then it came to you and my message for you is just kind of small. Like, I don't really have much to say. Because I'm a Gemini and my ruling planet is going into retrograde. Ah. Oh. Gemini, you are, so this is the big message that I got. Um, for one, someone's like really already looking forward to spring. It's like New Year's Eve happens and you're like, boom, I want nice weather. When is it Easter? Fuck these months. I just want to get into the warm weather. And then I thought even more so, like, what if there's something happening for a Gemini out there this spring? Maybe someone's due this this spring, like a baby, or due in, like an arrival, or um, I thought about like maybe there's a trip somewhere this spring. Maybe you've booked a um, getaway for April vacation, but it's like someone got to, yeah, maybe that is it. Someone passed New Year's got into 2022 and is like spring maybe someone has a, a cruise or a trip they've been looking forward to for years and it's finally coming and it's just like i can't wait for it to get warm the bigger message though i got is that gemini is looking at something or um something they've created and they're looking at it with pride, love. I thought you've received compliments on this creation and you're just very proud. More so, I have been thinking it is your children. Either you're looking at your children and you're like, you know what? I raised some damn good kids. Or someone has told you, you raised some damn good kids. I just feel like you're getting compliments or you've just received a compliment about your child, your children, or and you're like taking a step back and looking at your child or children and thinking like, I have done a good job creating good human beings. Like these are good people and I'm proud of my creation because anybody can have a kid anybody can have a kid but to create a decent human being that's where the hard work is in parenting and um it's sad that not everyone has it in them to want to put in that work it's sad that there are people who had parents who didn't put in the work for them um and i think this all plays into maybe gemini looking at their creation it could even be like something art related um a project um that's g getting off the ground in the spring and you're just looking at the hard work that you've put into it and the comp the compliments that you're receiving about it and you're just like <clears throat> you're really i want to say too it's not even about uh, patting yourself on the back it's just being proud of what you have done. Like, I did that. That 
my son who's over there who's helping at, in the um I just I'm hearing like the COVID line like giving away helping out with people getting their boosters who's being a gentleman over there that's my son and people are are telling me what a gentleman he is how respectful what a good guy you got on your hands there and you're you're taking a pause and you're like almost like I've done what I was meant to do I created a good person and Gemini's reflecting on that and that's a big message and maybe that's why I only got that message for Gemini because I definitely know there is a Gemini out there who's like Meg, I needed to hear that. It's all love. It's told with love. Told as love. If you haven't heard that Jimi Hendrix song, go check it out. As soon as I heard that song, I was like, oh my gosh, this song. <sighs> Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Gemini energy just popped out. She was just in the Aquarius reading. So you may have Aquarius in your chart or be dealing with an Aquarius or dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a male or female, but I'm heavily thinking it's another female, or it could be a male with kind of um, feminine characteristics. Two of wands, and I, I get, oh, four of wands. I was like, I gotta see what this is. I just heard like ha making a happy home um <clears throat> you got ace of swords in reverse on the bottom followed by the six of cups so ace of swords reversed followed by the six of cups and you know what's so funny is that card that was just sticking out i could tell Yes, I could tell by looking at it. I was like, oh, that's the Queen of Wands. And I pushed it up and then I pulled this down and there's the King of Wands. So, Gemini. Could be dealing with a uh, fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Um, that you have split from. And the fact that there's this many cards in between them. Tells me like you guys still care for each other. But you've like moved on with your lives. This could be someone you knew when you were young, like when you were kids. It's like you guys were like badasses together, but maybe that's why it didn't work because you're too, you're both too big badasses and there's only so many badass that can be in a relationship. <laughs> oh, Gemini. Oh, here's air energy too. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then more fire signs. The only signs I'm seeing, wands, that's fire. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Oh, Gemini, is this the same person? I feel like I've read about a Gemini and a Sagittarius so many times already. I just heard like, didn't I say happy home? Didn't I say that when I started? Happy homes and friendships, like creating friendships. This could be a same sex um, friendship, relationship. I almost got to like someone you just met with and you're like, yo, you're funny shit. And they're like, you're funny shit. And you just go back and forth and you're like, I love like talking and working with you. You're so funny. And you might have other people saying like, really? Like that person? I don't know. I don't know if I would trust that person. Like, I don't know. And you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. The vibe is, I like, I don't know about you, but I get along with this person. I just hear like someone giving unsolicited advice or opinions or comments like and you're like did I ask you 
yeah, like communication that you didn't ask for and you didn't want about this person. Or someone is doing that about you, Gemini. But I have, it's like someone's telling you something or, and you're just like, I didn't ask for this. I also see someone thinking about two options. Like there's two in reverse here, which Gemini. I always think of Gemini when I see the two. So maybe it's you, Gemini, thinking about moving somewhere in the world, somewhere different. Or an option has come your way and you're considering taking it and moving ahead. I feel like there's an offer here or or in a new idea here. That could lead to this, the four of wands, which is first place, success, the altar, happiness, a happy home. But you haven't made up your mind yet or made this decision. And you, you're like in your head and you haven't made a decision yet. <clears throat> I don't know why I keep looking up. It's like someone like in their head about maybe wanting to talk to someone that they have a crush on or maybe there's already been communication and someone is actually like, I really actually like you. I'll take that. I'll take that as a yes. I actually like you, but I, I kept hearing like give you the world or like I can't give you the world. This was just in someone else's reading. Like I can't give you what you're looking for. Might have been Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius. Yeah, someone's like, I just can't give you what you're looking for. I have too much on my plate or I, are, I have too many options. I heard, I have too many options like too many other people I would want to be with to give you what you want and that's to be the only one. Or I just heard someone's acting like they're with their only one and they're actually, they actually do have options and are talking to their other options. This could be job related. Telling your boss like, hey, team, team meeting. In reality, you're like talking to five other companies, could even just be two of the companies, one other company, but your options are open and you know you're like, I just heard like magical enough for it to get any of those options. <clears throat> Gemini. I heard keeping your options open. Queen of Swords, reversed. And I, I keep thinking it's like maybe job related. Yeah, job or home related, whatever makes you happy, whatever is like gives you the 10 of cups in life. Maybe you're considering like an open relationship and that did not go over well with someone else. Yeah, I don't know why. I see like an open relationship, maybe swinging and you could be dealing with another Gemini <clears throat> and someone would did not like that idea. I also see like maybe working like, I don't know why I keep seeing something at night, doing something at night, working at night. There's a lot of naked people here. Uh, if you are in like a, if you have Aquarius in your chart or you are dealing with Aquarius or if you are in a polyamorous or swinging type open type relationship, you have to go check out the Aquarius one because this is making me feel, this is giving me the vibe like I just had there of like, there was, there were people that used to swing or people that used to have sexual fun together at, at night and nobody knew about it. And it's come to an end 
and like someone hasn't been catching the hint. That's what's in the Aquarius reading. <laughs> what's going on with these air signs? I just started hearing those lovely lady lumps. My humps, my humps, my humps. Maybe someone, my humps. Is someone having sexy time? <laughs> My humps. I just, I don't know why I see like swinging or like a house party with like. Everyone knows what's gonna go down. Nobody talks about it. But we're eventually waiting until we've all gotten enough drinks. <laughs> and then someone kicks it off. Oh my God, Queen of Swords again. Gemini, you are in your energy. I just got like, you rule the roost. Like you are in charge of the home. You call the shots. You say, do this, you do that. And da, 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 da. Um, could be dealing with a Capricorn. <clears throat> Could be dealing with the Pisces. Um God, this this I can't wait to rewatch this. This just seems like I see two women who aren't talking. Oh wow, and aren't who aren't getting along, aren't talking. But each of them is actually doing well in life and is really happy with where they are at life. And I don't want to say they don't miss each other. Like they know the other one is there, but they're just in such a good place in their life right now that they're kind of just focused on that. And this other person is back there. Like they haven't forgot about them. They may have considered this person like a toxic individual. Maybe they said things to you that you thought were hurtful um they thought they were giving you direction but like as a capricorn can be very blunt and um this could have happened during capricorn season someone who is like very blunt and is like i'm just gonna ta i'm gonna just give you this what didn't i say unsolicited advice earlier like i'm just gonna tell you this and you're not gonna like it but and it it's like what they're giving what they're telling you isn't good for you is actually where you feel really happy is actually where you feel really good and fulfilled and you you kind of had to make this decision to maybe like just take some distance and back away stop communication from this person that you determined was kind of was kind of was Someone who was getting you in your feelings and in your head about what you thought was, like, what your intuition was telling you. This person would get into your head, make you, like, emotional. I almost, I'm hearing manipulative, but it'd be like, but my intuition is telling me not to fight this. So maybe you would wait and you didn't give an offer or you didn't move forward with whatever your idea was but you it was always in your thoughts I'm hearing like getting to a point where it's like why am I listening to this person why am I listening to this person I just heard like this person is defensive and can be mean hurtful this is more that advice you're not asking for. Maybe that's someone coming to this channel. You're Sagittarius, temperance reversed. And then the three of wands. I'm just seeing like, yeah, like needing to cut someone off. Like you, you, you respect this person. But you're just like, it's kind of like acknowledging that like, I respect you and I think you are a great human being, but I just think our paths aren't meant to cross right now. I wish you well. Um, I wish you the best, but I'm just going to do what's best for me. And that's 
these two people putting their backs to each other. And one is moving forward with feelings of success and feelings of triumph and could be getting engaged or getting married but or winning something um, <clears throat> or just feeling really blessed and lucky where they are in life. And it's like the other one's doing the same exact thing. I'm, I'm at my rainbow. I'm creating a life of my own. I'm, I'm having family. I don't know why I got the sense this could be sisters. If that's the case, or siblings, Gemini, I feel for you. But I just see so much of like, there's, there's love and respect here, even if it's not communicated. And it's like, a, it's not a goodbye. It's when we link up at the holidays. When I see you next 4th of July. I even hate to see that, say this, but like, um, if there's like, I won't say it. If something unfortunate happens in a family, that can bring members together that you haven't seen in a while. I'm thinking of like a wake or someone in the hospital. I do not wish that on anyone, but it is what came to my head. And it's like, a, or at a wedding, I'll see you at your wedding. I'll, I'll talk to you when we plan your wedding. You still mean the world to this person. You will always mean, you will always have a big chunk of, of spots in this person. But it's like, again, like we're not, it's, I just see not giving to this anymore. Not giving to, um, to your, your, gosh, this ties into the kids. I'm not going to give gifts to your kids anymore. Just don't worry about gifts to my kids. Let's not have a, a dick measuring contest with who's going to spend more money on each other's kids. Because you know how that can happen. Yeah. Hold on to your money. This is also someone not being single anymore. Maybe in a relationship and that's where their focus is. I just, I keep seeing like a, it's, I'll talk to you later, but I'm heading out now and I, I respect you. I have love for you. I wish you well, but I just think it's best that we just kind of go our separate ways right now and I'll see you when I see you. It's not a goodbye. It's a, until I see you next, I wish you the best. I wish you nothing but success and happiness and good fortune and blessings and good health and wealth and happiness. And I wish all that for you, my told as love tarot readers, watchers, viewers, responders, likers, commenters. Here I am in Gemini mode, giving out all this love. Oh, thanks for stopping by. I hope this resonated with someone with Gemini in their chart. Have a great day, told his love.